The FBI released gripping silent surveillance video of Aaron Alexis as he drives into the Navy Yard in his rented Prius. The cameras pick him up as he enters the front door of Building 197, ready for a rampage that killed 12 people before he was shot down. There are indicators that Alexis was prepared to die during the attack and that he accepted death as the inevitable consequence of his actions. You see him carrying his bag, hidden inside a sawed-off Remington 870, which he removed in the bathroom. Photos released today show the bag he left behind. 22 minutes after he drove in, surveillance picks him up in the hall. He readies his weapon, hunting people. You see him move downstairs and then make his way along another hall as people flee down a connecting hallway. In the 10 days since the shooting, a sharper picture is emerging of what drove Alexis. There are multiple indicators that Alexis held a delusional belief that he was being controlled or influenced by extremely low frequency or ELF electromagnetic waves. The FBI released photos of his gun with an apparent reference to the magnetic waves carved into the handle, my ELF weapon. On the barrel, the words, end to the torment. And while the investigation into the mental illness that spawned the shooting will continue, agents said they found writings by Alexis that explained in plain language why he said he did it. A document retrieved from the electronic media stated, quote, ultra low frequency attack is what I've been subject to for the last three months. And to be perfectly honest, that is what has driven me to this. Investigators don't believe he targeted specific people in his 60-minute killing spree. We're told there's more graphic surveillance video than what we saw today, but authorities decided not to release it. Aaron Alexis was a computer technician for a company called The Experts, which was dropped today as a subcontractor by computer manufacturer HP. We reached out to The Experts by phone and email for comment, but they didn't respond. Wolf?